Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about tax reform in the United States, and specifically reform of the income tax system. And I want to put out there a stance that I think combines what I see as the best of conservative and liberal viewpoints. I am a political moderate, and there are aspects of conservative thinking and aspects of liberal thinking that I like and that I don't like. And I want to talk about how this plays out with the income tax system. The thing that conservatives advocate for over and over again that I really like and I really agree with is a radical simplification of the tax system. The income tax system in the United States is incredibly complicated. I've seen this firsthand because I used to work at H&R Block, which is a company that prepares people's personal tax returns. So I would do people's taxes, and I saw firsthand how complicated and difficult it can be. The complexity of the tax system causes a wide range of different problems. For one, it's costly and resource intensive to prepare all those tax returns. It takes people's time, and it costs people a lot of money. They typically have to pay a company or accountants to do their taxes for them. And it's confusing. I mean, it makes it harder for people to make good financial decisions. Also, the complexity of the tax code makes it harder for the government to catch people who are cheating on their taxes. Because basically, the more complicated your taxes are, the easier it is to hide shady or dishonest things somewhere in there. I also think that the complexity of the tax code is hardest on low-income people, because they are the people who are least able to afford accountants and professionals to do their taxes for them and to do them well. So it tends to favor the wealthy over the poor, just the, the fact that the system is complex. And I think conservatives tend to be aware of all these things. I want to point out one other thing. It's really hard on people who have multiple sources of income, and like m who are working multiple jobs, or have a combination of like investment income and income from jobs, people who are self-employed. It's really bad for these types of people. So, the thing is, when I look at what conservatives advocate, they often, I think they go too far, or they advocate things that I don't like. And one thing that I see them advocate a lot is this idea of the flat tax. And they're like, oh, well, this is simpler. And I'm like, okay, just because something is simpler doesn't necessarily mean it's better. And I really don't like the idea of the flat tax, because it basically taxes everyone at the same rate, meaning that you're paying the same portion of your income of ta in tax, regardless of what your income is. And this is where I tend to feel more strongly in agreement with liberals. Liberals tend to support the idea of progressive taxation. So that means if you have a higher income, you pay a greater portion of that income in tax. Now why do I agree with this, and why do I think this is important? It's pretty straightforward. If you think about if you or someone else is really low income, um, if you're low income and someone takes a portion of that away, it's much harder on you. You might already be struggling to make ends meet. And if you're not able to afford basic things like rent or other housing costs and food and things like that, and then someone adds additional tax on you, that is a real big hardship. Whereas if you have a much higher income, you probably have a lot of luxuries. You have a lot of things that you could cut out of your life without it really hurting you very much. And that's the exact situation that people in very high incomes are in. And there's a lot of research to uh, support this. There's research that looks at the effect of your income on your happiness. And they find that within low income ranges, as your income increases, you actually become a lot happier. But there gets to be a point where it doesn't really have any effect anymore. I saw a study some years ago that said that that point is somewhere in the like 70,000 range for an individual. I don't really know what it is now, and that's just one study, but it's kind of intuitive to me. Like, if I had more than $70,000 a year in income, I'm like, that's kind of a lot more than I need. And there are a lot of people in this country who have really, really high levels of income. So you're able to tax them more without kind of 
hurting them as much. You're, you're not imposing on them as much. And conservatives say, oh, well, they're, they're then paying more than their fair share of tax. But it kind of begs the question, is it really fair that people have that high an income to begin with? Like, you can say money is power, and do we really want a society in which some people have ten or a hundred or a thousand times the buying power of someone else? I don't like that. It seems to be concentration of power in the hands of a small number of people. It seems a little bit undemocratic to me. So to me, the idea of progressive taxation seems like a very democratic idea, and it seems to make sense for a long list of reasons. Um, so basically that's what I have to say. I would love to see us combine the conservative idea of simplifying the tax system with the liberal idea of keeping the tax system progressive. So we could have a progressive tax system, but eliminate most of the deductions, treat different types of income all the same, instead of having all these different really complex rules, maybe eliminate a lot of those tax credits. I think there would be huge benefits to doing this. Um, yeah, that's what I have to say. Um, and as always, if you like my video, please share, please subscribe to my channel if you ha haven't done it already. And I'd love to hear from you if you have something to add, if you have questions or comments. Thank you!